All right, so my first official meal. I am having some chicken from a rotisserie chicken and some stuffing that I made literally just out of the box, which I love this stuffing. It's like my fave. It kind of reminds me of like Thanksgiving. And I was just like, I'm craving it, so I'm gonna have it. Mm -hmm. Damn, it almost kind of looked like she didn't even chew it there. It just kind of looks like it went in her mouth and just disappeared. Like it was a magic trick or something or some kind of elaborate illusion. I just fine, I guess. But one of the joys of Thanksgiving, the reason why people love it so much is because you're not eating it all the time. You're just eating it on that one particular day or maybe the following week when you have leftovers. But if I'm being honest, I don't think somebody like Amber Lynn really has leftovers to begin with. It seems like she has no problem body slamming copious amounts of foods to begin with. But one thing I really love about Amberlynn Reed is that she finds ways to justify her bad behavior all the time. And sometimes it can be okay. Sometimes you can be like, I deserve this cookie. Even though I didn't do anything today, one cookie is not going to really do that much to me. It's not going to really, it's not going to really body slam me like that, right? But I've been peeped out that for somebody like Amber, she does it way too consistently. Every single day almost, she's sitting there and she's body slamming something that's obviously going to be improper for her stomach. So... It's just fine when me or you do it, but for somebody like Amber, who just chilling at 600 pounds consistently, who, by the way, was on Ozempic for like a week or two, and then was like, nah, I'm not going to do Ozempic anymore, and then just so happened to get into a relationship with somebody that might or might not be a feeder, I just love the consistency of how inconsistent Amber is. So today... We're going to investigate it. We're going to we're gonna just put our ear to the grindstone and we're going to smell up a little bit of the beauty that Amber emanates off her body. I mean, it may not be what exactly beauty is. It might be something else, but it's okay. I mean, speaking from a girly that literally took a, over a year that didn't wash, a, didn't wash or take a shower at all. And the only way she was a, able to have the soap bubble up on her body was when Becky came through with the, with the sponge and the bucket and washed her for her. And I'm not even joking about that. She literally did spend a year of not washing. We're going to invest some time today in understanding the lore of Amber Lynn Reed when it comes to her excuses and eating junk food. So good. And then this is just um, like, and a lot of people will sit there and say, Amber doesn't look too bad. You got to listen to me. Amber uses a lot of filters, okay? Amber wears a lot of makeup. Her face be beat as fucking hell. And it's obvious that she doesn't want people to actually see the real her. But sometimes when you look on her TikTok, you'll see some of the cringiest shit, by the way. I would never recommend going on her TikTok. When you go on her shit, all you're seeing is consistently videos of her thirst trap and telling people how pretty she is. For some reason... Also complaining that she gets a lot of hate online when she literally facilitates most of the hate. She has absolutely no awareness at all. She doesn't realize that she is the reason why most of the people don't like her. And then the thirst traps are the worst things. You're just seeing her sitting there talk about how great she is or that she eats out her girlfriend, which I don't really fucking care. Your mouth has been in worse places than like 99% of people. And that's me too. I'm talking about that. Like I've had women pee in my mouth and things like such and so forth. Um, don't sit there and act like that's improper, dude. When girls tell you it's squirt and you think it's squirt, it's not, it's pee. And then, you know, things lead to another thing. It's, it's whatever, right? I know guys that have eaten ass, okay? And I'm not saying I haven't, but women ass is significantly way, 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 way different compared to eating a man's ass if a woman had or anybody had told me that they ate a man's ass <laughs> i'm judging you bro that's fucking diabolical bro god good lord bro you gotta go to you gotta go to church a christian church catholic church and, and get your mouth baptized again that's crazy as hell bro i don't know how you survived that but regardless i feel like amber's probably putting worse things in her mouth I've, I've seen this woman literally eat the bottom of the barrel, most disgusting shit you could possibly put in your body. I mean, obviously, look at her. She's 600 pounds. Chilling, too. Chilling at 600 pounds. I don't even know why you even bother wearing a nose ring at this size. I can't even see it. Your skin is so pale white. Like a lemon pepper rotisserie chicken? Minimal chewing. Why do we need to chew when we can literally just have the food evaporate in our mouth? Mm -hmm. It's like one of those. You ever see that fish? There's like a fish that or maybe it's like a frog i think it's a fish though where it what happens is like it has a parasite going into its body and then the the tongue of the fish gets bitten off by this this other parasite and then the it becomes its tongue so whenever the fish eats something the parasite also eats something except it's like the alien movie almost like the double mouth except for amber's mouth it's like one solid mouth and it just kind of evaporates and then she realizes like wait where did that food just go oh my mouth dissolved it I'm starving. 
No, you're not. You're lying to yourself, bro. You're filling your mouth too heavy as well, dude. Jesus. Finish what you got. You just had a big ass piece of chicken in your throat. Finish that off real quick. You don't need to put this shit in your mouth. <laughs> Damn. Alrighty, so I finished my chicken and stuffing. I bet it was less than 30 minutes. Why does she wear these headphones in her ears? You know what? I always judge people that have AirPods. I don't personally have any. Maybe one day I'll become a plebeian and wear some too. I'm not judging anybody for wearing them. I'm kind of judging people when I wear them. But uh, you guys know me. I'm wearing the 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks because if they work, they work. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get off of them until they literally stop making them. I literally buy like every year. I buy like five extra pair. They're like ten dollars each, and they last for so long. Like these pair. Uh, I had a pair that literally just switched out because they started to get a little bit. <gasps> so I switched them out and they, they lasted literally like eight months and they were good. Eight months. That's pretty fucking good. I know some people that walk, that lose their AirPods inside of three weeks. I'm not even joking about that either. I swear Apple knows that people lose them too. That's why they don't have like any accessory devices or whatever. You can't find the, you can't find the AirPods unless they're in the case, which is totally irrelevant because the smallest pieces of them are the ones that people lose the most. Not the case, not the case, the pods which was delicious and they're not even like properly fitting her ears either dude they're just kind of like s holding on for dear life kind of like her blood pressure and while i was eating i ordered a drink of course <laughs> what the fuck god damn amber while you were eating you were on the uber eats app that's crazy as hell bro that's some real big back shit. How the fuck you on the Uber Eats app while you body slamming some food? You don't see that as an issue? And don't hit me with the, oh, while I was uh, while I was eating, I ordered a drink. Get the fuck out of here. Ain't no way you sitting there on the Uber Eats app and you ordering just a drink. Don't bullshit me, dude. I'm not, listen, I might be a little bit dumb sometimes, but I'm not that dumb. You didn't order a drink from Chick-fil-A and that's all you got. <laughs> I know you body slamming some more shit. I peeped it. You, 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 you be on that Uber Eats app all the time. I wouldn't even be surprised if we looked at, you know, when you go through your phone and it tells you your time frames on how much you use apps and how much screen time you've used over the week. I wouldn't be surprised for somebody like Amber. It would say something like 120 hours for just Uber Eats. Not even to mention McDonald's, not even to mention the Wendy's app, not even to mention any of these other apps. No, no, no. DoorDash and all that. It's just going to be Uber Eats, McDonald's, Wendy's, and then so on and so on. All those hours just because Amber is just glazing her lips with her tongue, looking at all these delicious foods like, oh, my mouth needs to be marinated with this sweet Mickey D's. From Chick-fil-A. I got That's a bullshit, dude. Just getting a drink from Chick-fil-A is actually insane. Don't lie to me, dude. Diet Coke. Ugh. Show us the receipt. Show us the receipt real quick. You can just pull it up, right? They email you right after that. They go, oh, okay, yeah. Well, no problem. Here's the receipt. Thank you for your order. Real talk. Thank you. Real shit. Um, and also, Amber has also been on record saying that she has, like, one definitive Uber Eats driver. And then she gets upset that the guy sometimes is sick or whatever, which is really kind of crazy. Caffeine is, like, my, my coffee for someone else. Like, who? Caffeine is my coffee for somebody else? What are you talking about? What? Ugh. Caffeine is, like, my, my coffee for someone else. Like, who drinks coffee for that, like energy i feel like that's what i do with this damn diet coke how much caffeine is in diet coke not much right i'm sick of people thinking like okay look if you want caffeine and your main objective is to is to is to ingest caffeine why would you go with a diet coke what are you getting like 30 milligrams of caffeine whatever dude 30 milligrams maybe for most people see me if I want caffeine and I'm, I, I go out and get a coffee from McDonald's, I know a lot of people shit on me for that. They go, oh, coffee from McDonald's is sludge, it's mops, it's whatever. Whatever, bro, okay? That's where I'm from. I'm going to Mickey D's or I'm going to Dunkin' Donuts and I'm getting my coffee, bro. Whatever the fuck you got to say, go ahead and judge me. I know it's slop. It doesn't taste good. But guess what? I don't care. Like I said earlier, I've put in worse stuff in my mouth. You think I care about McDonald's $1 coffee? I don't give a fuck, Okay. Or what I'm doing is I'm going on Amazon and I'm buying the Celsius packets, which are 200 milligrams of caffeine, and I'm sucking that shit down. I might have two a day. That's 400 milligrams, which is not too bad. I know some people that are taking two, three grams a day. I'm not even joking either. These people are perpetually on their fucking back, and some of these people don't even register the caffeine anymore. They're like Kind of like me. I think I have a deficiency in my brain when it comes to the, the acknowledgement of caffeine. At this point, it's just a default for me. I think I actually do have an addiction. But regardless of that, that's my only addiction. At least I'm... 
ca a caffeine addicted. For somebody like Amber, she's food addicted as well. And she tries to cope with it by saying like, even though I did order this, the reason why I ordered this was, was for the caffeine, which is bullshit, by the way. Just go on and buy the 200 milligrams of caffeine Celsius's, and then you'll get literally five or 10 calories, and then you'll be able to get 200 milligrams of caffeine. Or you could just do totally meta. And you can take caffeine pills. I know tons of people that do that as well. So whatever you want to do, but this is a major copium and it doesn't make sense to do this. But anyway, I guess it really doesn't fucking matter for somebody like a skinny queen such as Amberlynn Reed. She's going to find a way to justify anything. And always get extra ice. I hate when drinks. Wow. <laughs> whatever, bro. Don't have enough ice. Like I would rather have. Nobody's ever said that ever. Have you ever been to a McDonald's before? They'd be sitting there with the ice machine going for minutes, bro. Just. <laughs> And then you finally get your liquid. You take one sip, all the liquid is gone. The ice is just sitting there waiting for the rest. Way more ice than soda. That's just like how I am. No, she's just saying that. So that way it doesn't seem as bad that she ordered literally Uber Eats just for a soda. Which she didn't do, by the way. Where's your jaw, by the way? Where's your choker? You got to put that choker on so we can see where your neck is. And then. And then? I also got one more thing from Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I knew it. I mean, I, you didn't have to say anything else. I, I already knew. Well, go ahead. Show us what you got. You know, we, we all knew, but we, well, let's see. Let's see. I got a cookie. <sighs> a Chick-fil-A cookie? What a, what a sandwich at? What a spicy chicken sandwich at, huh? What what a coleslaw at, huh? What what a biscuits? Why are you lying? Why are you lying? We all know that's dessert. What a, what a, what a sandwich at? Because I wanted something sweet. The soda wasn't enough? So, I got me a little cookie moment. They make it out of like oats. It's like chocolate chip, but it's like they make it out of oats. All right, let's try a bite. A cookie with some soda. Ah, the best combination on the planet, truly. Uh, sweetness with sweetness. I love how Amber thinks that we're all here by the way going cross-eyed after eating a cookie is kind of crazy jesus christ i haven't gone cross-eyed even getting a blow job but anyway going to chick-fil-a just getting a cookie is diabolical and to sit here and think that anybody's watching your videos for a food review is also crazy as fuck bro most of the people watching you are just here to watch the downfall kind of like when you're driving by a big wreck on the side of the road and you just kind of want to stop just to see if anybody died you know it's fucked up you know it's not good but you're still gonna do it because <laughs> dude what the fuck it's kind of like when you go on pornhub and you look at the first results. Like you're just there to watch whatever video you're gonna be looking for. Maybe you're watching lesbian porn. Maybe you're weird and you're a woman. You watch gay porn, which is weird by the way. It's fine, no, it's not weird. I know most women watch it because of the moaning and stuff like that. By, by the way, if you guys don't know, most women do watch gay porn. It's actually really weird. I remember one time I was in a relationship with this girl. She was like, do you wanna watch porn with me? And I was like, yeah. yeah. And then she pulled up gay porn. I watched it for like a whole four minutes and I was like, this is gay. Like, what the fuck are you doing here? This is really homosexual activities right now. You're watching this consistently? Like, oh, I only watch this, like, most of the time. It's fine, though. It's okay. It's, it's, it's it, That's what you like. I'm not doing that shit. But I guess most women don't expect it. But regardless of that, um, for Amber Lynn to be... I don't even know what the fuck we were just talking about. What were we talking about? Mm, warm and fresh. That's good. Calm down, bro. Yes, it is. Okay, you guys. So it's been some time. Oh, yeah. When you go on the, like, the front page of Pornhub and you see a video and you're like, ooh, what is this? This video looks weird. This video looks out of shape. This video looks something I never would have thought I looked at. And then you click on it. You watch like two or three minutes of it. And you're like, this is, what the fuck am I even doing right now, dude? This video is terrible. It's atrocious. I, what, what, what even is that? Is that an anal beat with like what, pumpkins on the end of them, dude? Whatever. I'm out of here. Then you go to your regular video. It's like that. Like you just watch it for as long as you can. And then you realize it's wrong. And then you go on your way. It's the same thing with Amberlynn Reed. Like you're just here to watch the downfall. And as you guys know, I went to Trader Joe's. No, we don't know that but whatever dude going to trader joe's i feel like a lot of people get moral justification for going to trader joe's because they think it's a better like store like it's more healthy to go there which it's not by the way like it's just more expensive food like i'm glad that you went food shopping which is awesome because you order uber eats so consistently but going to trader joe's and then just buying whatever food you are because you think it's more moral because the food is healthier it's not. You're just buying a more expensive food, and I'm 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 sick of I'm sick of it. Okay, if you think that you're going to Trader Joe's, you're doing anything other than buying more expensive food because you think it's healthy. It's not. You're you're, you're lying to yourself. Okay. And I got some of these chicken cilantro mini wonton. Four pieces is fifty calories. 
You might as well just eat like 20 of them then if that's the case, dude. That's it, literally. So let's make some. I'm gonna do it in the air fryer and then we can do like a taste test because they're so low calorie and even like the sodium is low. The carbs is pretty decent, like lower than usual. Where are your eyebrows at? How come nobody ever talks about her eyebrows, man? I mean, the lack of eyebrows. <sighs> I don't know why she wouldn't invest more money in these if they're only 50 calories, bro. That seems like a pretty low amount. Things like this. I bet it's actually not that much. Somebody can somebody can let me know down below how many of these actually are. It's like wontons. Um, fat is super low. Cholesterol's low. Like, I just feel like everything is so good in this. So if these taste good, your girl's gonna be eating them. What I love about Amber is that she'll find a way to justify everything that she eats, and then she'll eventually find something that's actually not too bad and relatively easy to cook, which is very significant for her. And yet, every every time, it doesn't matter because she'll find herself feeding into the bad desires, ordering Uber Eats or McDonald's or whatever. So ultimately, even if she does find something that's good for her, it doesn't matter because it doesn't work ultimately. Okay, so while the wontons are in the air fryer, I'm gonna make like a little sauce moment. So first thing I'm gonna do is some soy sauce. It's a lot of soy sauce. Some sriracha. So I'm gonna add the tiniest bit of raw honey. I mean, like literally, Smaller than a dime. Also gonna add some sesame seeds. And then I'm gonna stir it. With a knife, okay, yeah, beautiful. Okay, so this is... Okay, don't look too bad, don't look too bad. About complete. Eh, it's not gonna be enough to fill her up, if I'm being honest with you. Four, four of these things? Nah. So she made eight? Damn, bro, if I'm being honest with you, dude, uh, she would need to eat at least double, even triple this. To fill her up? To, to, to satiate her stomach? Nah. <laughs> it's not enough. It's, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm being realistic. Okay, I know Amber wants to let everybody think that she's like, you know, that girl or whatever. And she's gonna be fine eating this. I've watched her long enough to know that this isn't enough, dude. You don't get the 600 pounds eating eight of these things, okay? You get the 600 pounds by eating like three bags. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these fellas in here and then mix it all around. So I made one... Oh, they're way too... What are those? One bite's worth of food? No way, bro. These things are way too small. Now I know why they're 50 calories for four. These things are nothing. Two, three, four. They're so tiny. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why nine? If there were, if there were 50 calories per serving and there was four per serving and you made nine? Whatever. Shake, shake, the shake, shake, All right, so I mixed them, it. and now they're all sauced up. Let's do a taste test. I do feel like that's, like, juicy. I didn't need that much sauce, but... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe you should have had something else with it, if I'm being honest with you. If it was, like, 100 calories for all that, and it's not really that much, but if you had something else with it, like some broccoli or some steamed vegetables or some rice or something like that. Some more cultural, of course, because there are whatever these things are, these, these triangle things or whatever, half circles. Then maybe it would have satiated you for longer instead of just eating this. Like, I, I presume this is like a snack for her, a quick 100 calories or 105 calories or something like that. But it's not going to be enough. It, 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 this, is just a, this is just like a miniature snack. Like, it was literally a bite. That's crazy. There's nothing in there. She's not gonna be satiated with this shit. It's it's un it's impractical. Wow, that's good. And this is so low calorie. It's insane. Yeah, but you're gonna eat like 50 of these, and like that was half the bag. And the sodium, literally, from my sauce. <laughs> okay, you guys. So Same day too, bro. Damn. So got some McDonald's. It's like, I don't really care, okay? Like, if you are eating, if you're eating well, and you're telling me you're eating well, and you want to eat well, and you just ate those things, and you were talking about, oh, it's low calorie, it's this and that, and then you order Mickey D's right after that. Well, I guess that really didn't matter, huh? I guess, ultimately, it doesn't matter, because you were just going to get McDonald's to begin with. McDonald's. Yes, I did. So, first thing I got... Is one of their... That's diabolical, dude. We all like Mickey D's. You like it. I like it. Don't sit here and lie to me. Mickey D's is okay. It's, it's a little bit expensive now, and it's not worth the price that you're paying for it. Really not. But it's it's all right. Like, everybody knows what Mickey D's is. And uh, for somebody like Amber, dude, to, to, to feed into it like this, dude, it's tough. It's tough, bro. Especially after just telling us that she was going to try to be better. Medium blue raspberry 
like slushies, ices. I'm addicted. Yes, I am. Mm. How many calories is that slushy? Somebody let me know. There's the spot. And then. What spot did it hit though, Amber? Mm. I got two cheeseburgers and that's literally it. What do you mean that's it? How much is each cheeseburger? Like 300 calories, three, six, plus the slushy. I wouldn't be surprised if that was also three. That's like 900 calories. And where are the fries at? You didn't get any fries from McDonald's? <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> what, 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 that was a big bag. I saw the bag. It was like one of those big ones, okay? So what else was in the bag? Where the fries at? I know you got fries. Don't lie to me, bro. Where the fries? But I wanna show you guys how I get them. No pickle. Nobody cares. It doesn't matter. Literally, uh, like, you, what are you as subtracting like an additional four calories? Does anybody give a fuck how Amber likes her cheeseburgers? Nobody. Nobody gives a fuck, Amber. No mustard. Cool. No ketchup. Wow. The only thing I want is cheese and, meat. and onion. Oh. So what I do is, you could have just made it at the house then if that's the case like isn't the novelty of eating i could be wrong by the way getting not, not getting a double kind of crazy if i'm be honest with you dude i think a double is a way to go but uh, just cheese and meat i guess don't come for me okay nobody cares I like what do you mean why would anybody come for you nobody gives a fuck off one of the breads throw it away um, you like that? it is a double But didn't you just say you just got two cheeseburgers? But that's a double. I'm looking at two pieces of meat right there. That's a double. You got a double. Those are two doubles you just got in your mouth. Two doubles. So you get rid of the bread and you think you're like, what? Hashtag novel. Hashtag in it girl. Like, what, do, what am I even supposed to get from this? Like, you're just so cool because you throw away a piece of bread. Even though I literally am looking at you holding it in your hand over there. I know your body slamming that shit. It's okay to say that. Um, you're just lying to make yourself seem like you're cooler than that. Or like you're so quirky you're not you're not you're not that special i don't know why okay whatever dude amber go ahead bro go ahead man i don't even know what we're doing here like why are you even t why are you even showing us this shit like oh yeah i'm so cool because i can take off the bun everybody can do it you're just dumb for doing it it's so good it's a double cheeseburger bro it's whatever so i'm gonna go eat them i'm gonna watch some i love that bread was just hovering there and then she went back to put it back married at first sight while i eat Married at First Sight is diabolical, terrible, disgusting. Man, I was watching Married at First Sight. Listen, I don't watch these shows voluntarily, okay? I watch them because oh, somebody else wants to watch them, right? And I get, I just start watching these shows, and I'm just thinking like, damn, bro, these shows are so bad. Like, half these dudes be walking up, they got the most busted teeth I've ever seen in my life. Pure yellow, pure yellow teeth. Some of these women, too, just be so terrible, bro. They just be starting fights for no reason. And I'm just sitting here thinking like, I would not, I would not let this woman get away with this shit. I would be starting fights back. I would be matching that energy like crazy. But I was watching an episode last night and it was the season where they was in Boston. So I had a little bit of relatability. And I remember they were all chilling at a, uh, they were all chilling at like a bowling alley, right? And there was this girl and this other girl, there's one black girl and this one white girl. I guess they were having some problems or whatever. And this black girl was like mean mugging. She was side eyeing whatever. This other girl was talking and shit like that. So the other girl was like, yo, bro, what are you doing right now? Like, what's up? Like, you got a problem? And the husband for the girl that said that was like, oh, can you just like stop? Can you just like start, stop starting problems? And I'm just thinking like, bro, are you a bitch? Like, are you a straight up pussy, bro? Your girl is literally getting mean mugged, getting side eyed. She's literally getting passive aggressive comments toward her from this other girl. And you're talking about some is it a why are you starting the problem are you crazy are you a straight bitch are you a pussy and i knew it too because this dude was literally talking about some i'm scared to tell my wife how i really feel are you a bitch like what the fuck bro get your shit together bro if i'm I don't know, that shit just pissed me off. I was just watching that shit, and I was just thinking, like, this guy's a straight pussy. Like, he's just a straight bitch. And his, girl, his woman is trying so hard. She's trying so hard to be with this guy. And she calls him out, too. Like, she was in the bathroom. She was like, he's a pussy. Like, he can't stick up for me. I don't know why. Like, she didn't see. And I was just thinking, like, this woman was obviously in the wrong. And he, he, she's just calling her out on that shit. And you talk about some, I don't know why you got to be so, like, aggressive. Bro, <laughs> What, there are different forms of aggression. Th that bitch was over doing, being passive aggressive for no other reason. And it was crazy to me too. Is that everybody else was calling out this white girl for that shit. I'm just saying like, 
are we not acknowledging this this black girl doing all this passive aggressive stuff? I don't know her name, so I'm just gonna identify them based off the skin color. But and by the way, her wig was awful too. I don't know. I saw her wig from like a mile away, and she was sleeping on it on cotton pillowcases. She had no bonnet. She went to sleep every single night with a full face of fucking makeup. And I was thinking like, dude, why the fuck you lying so hard? Your lashes is literally extending out three inches. And it's crazy how so many people could watch this show and not acknowledge that the wigs is on on terribly and the lace fronts just be. I can see them perfectly, dude. The makeup don't match. I don't know, bro. Whatever, dude. I was watching that shit last night. That shit pissed me the fuck off. Like, how many bitch-ass pussies we got on this fucking show? Not defending your woman, dude, after she was she was the one that got offended? Dude, fuck you. a pussy, bro. All right, so I ordered food. So here is my first meal. So I got five guys, actually. Yeah, five guys right after the Mickey D's kind of insane in the membrane, dude. So Five I guys, by the way, ain't worth it. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. It's not, it's not worth it. I've been peeped the menu. It was too much. I remember one time I was trying to impress a girl. I took it to five guys and uh, we got a double cheese on each, right? Double cheese, double cheese. And I remember the dude and I got a, I got a fry for me and her. And the dude was like, yeah. Oh, you can't see me. Um, the dude was like, yeah, it's going to be like 35 or $40. And I was looking at this dude like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, how is it that much money? What are you talking about? And I gave him a hundred and he didn't even realize like he was like, oh, man, uh, you don't pay by car and i'm looking at this dude like what are you talking about bro like it's usd like that's money that's cash right there it's a hundred dollars so like you could do the math right i could do the math for you right now uh if you really need me to bro but uh yeah <laughs> fuck that i'm never going back there bro five guys can suck me off i got their regular looking like some foreskin size cajun fry which i never finished the fries i never finished the burger either which i'll definitely show you guys that but so you can eat two double cheeses from Mickey D's, but you can't finish a burger from Five Guys? <laughs> I'm smelling some bullshit. So for the cheeseburger, um, I got mayo, jalapeno, onion. So that's everything that's on there. It's a double cheese though. Talk about that for a little bit. If you could body slam two double cheeses at Mickey, 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 Mickey D's, dude, you could you could body slam this shit. No problem there, come on. <laughs> tastes so good it's, then, a, it's a double cheeseburger like it's not even that good quality it's just really sloppy it look like somebody stepped on it and for the drink i just got a diet coke so when my uber delivered the food um i was expecting a guy and it was actually my original uber driver's wife true because he broke his leg i was like oh my god beautiful what a beautiful woman amber is acknowledging when somebody breaks their leg or whatever it is beautiful beautiful amber always always caring knowing who the uber eats driver is is also really really amazing look at the look at the sadness in her eyes while she takes a sip of her her diet doc, her diet coca-cola and eating her food doesn't matter to her i mean sheesh that guy broke his leg but fuck it i got my food in my mouth i'm feeling pretty good about it 250 so i'm about to have two of these uncrustables it's peanut butter and grape jelly sandwich they're so good and a sun-kissed orange zero sugar Okay, you guys, so it is time for my next meal. I got Taco Bell. What I love about Amber is like, she's put herself in a shell of just eating all this food and like publishing it to YouTube because she's put herself in this bracket of, I don't know, I guess food YouTuber or something like that. And it's really sad because obviously she has a major issue with eating copious amounts of food. And it's just, it's just amazing how sometimes people can literally become their own worst enemies. And uh, they are the reason why they have their own downfall. Now, 100%. Amber has always had this issue with food, but she's put herself in a bracket to benefit from eating all this food. Isn't that amazing? Like she's literally enabling herself to make these bad decisions and reinforces her bad decisions by eating more because people watch it. I got an order of their cinnamon twists. Is it not possible for her to like walk to these restaurants? Like how far away are these places, man? Or just walk to the corner store or walk to the wherever you can because uh, that would be way better than just sitting down waiting for the Uber Eats delivery guy. There's all up in it. Cinnamon twists. I actually have not had these since I was probably like a teenager. Don't care. From what I can remember. Don't even matter. Is that a justification to eat them now? So I have never had almost anything from Taco Bell. I think I've been to Taco Bell one time and uh, the food was slop. It was slimy and it wasn't good. So I would never go back. Let's try but at least she has the choker on here. Mmm. It literally, the texture reminds me of freeze dried candy. I got one taco. It is just the um, nacho 
taco one. I don't know. It's the nacho cheese taco shell, which is what I prefer. Amber, you know you're fat, right? Like, you know you're big as fuck, yeah? Like, if you're 600 pounds, I just want to put something in perspective here. I think most women weigh around, like, 130, 140-ish. Like, that's how much usually women should be weighing. Like, 120, 130, 140. Something like that. Um, If you're 600 and you're chilling at 600, you know that's, like, four maybe almost five women stacked on top of you and you're not even that tall either you're like five foot three or five foot four you you know you're fat right you know you're like really fat like you know that's like actually not good for you right why are you like you know when people see you they see that you you have a food addiction right like you know when people see you they're going damn that that's a really big bitch that's somebody that eats a lot of food you know you know that, right like it'd be one thing if somebody was slightly bigger you know I'm like oh that guy really enjoys his food when they see you they go <gasps> oh my gosh she really big yeah, yeah. I just wanted to point that out because I think it's appropriate here. I, th I think personally it's something to talk about. And then I got a black bean burrito. I thought the taco was the only thing she got, but I guess the black bean burrito had to suffice. With, I think Don't I care. asked for like... Doesn't even matter what you put on that, to be honest, dude. It's too many, too much. French fries and onion on the inside. I took a bite of my food and I forgot. I'm also drinking some water. Doesn't matter. I don't care about the water, literally. You just had a whole ass... Whatever, dude. Go on. So, I don't usually get drinks when I order. Look at the side eye. Look at the side eye on Twinkie over here. Always side eye and always like looking off at, at the Amber Lynn when she makes improper Uber, decisions. I mean, I have before. It has happened, but it's not really something I do. I kind of just like. Didn't you just order like Chick fil A and you ordered a whole drink from there? Gives me the creeps a little bit. Why? Why does it give you the creeps to order a drink? What are you fucking talking about? So here is my first meal. Never just says shit sometimes, just because she thinks it's more relatable. If she she thinks that she has like if she has quirky traits somehow that's gonna make her more like likable, but it's not. It just makes you look like an idiot or an asshole or a pick me because you think that this is how you get value. This is how you get character development is just making stuff up about uh, making stuff up about yourself instead of actually doing stuff to increase your character development. Oh, this is like, you're just boring. Just say that it's okay. We all have boring traits. You know what I'm talking about? It is what it is. But. Why do you feel like you're so boring that you have to just come up with random stuff? It's usually what I have when I first wake up because it's simple, easy, low calorie, tastes good. Doesn't matter. You know what would be really easy to cook though? Not even cooking, just ordering Uber Eats, which is something you do frequently. And to me, it's not that unhealthy. And I don't really like eating when I first wake up, but this works. So it's three pieces of bacon. It's two scrambled eggs. Bacon looks really dried too, man. That shit looks like a camel's foreskin. No oil, no butter, just everything but the bagel seasoning. I, you know, I just don't understand why she always got to say that. Like no oil, no seasoning, no butter, no nothing of that. Like as if it matters at all when you're about to just body slam some Mickey D's right after that. It's so disrespectful to even bring up that you didn't cook this with any like fats or anything like that. When you're literally about to body slam like another dish, an additional 4,000 calories later today. Like it, it doesn't fucking matter. And I love it super good so for the two eggs only 120 calories like i said this is super low calorie the three slices of bacon is only 90 calories don't care so for the whole meal which i'm not titling it breakfast lunch dinner nothing like that because every day i have a different amount of meals one day i'll just have one meal that's a lie come on now one meal come on now how many snacks next day i'll have four so who knows but for this whole meal is only 210 calories so this is a typical day for me where I wake up Subway, and huh? I think I'm going to be on track. I'm done with it, dude. I'm done with it, dude. I'm sick of Amber. Um, by the way, we react to Amber every once in a while on live stream. So if you catch me on live, we're probably watching something and you guys can join up and we can have a fun time. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could like the video, share, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. But I appreciate tremendously if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now. Put it down below by typing in lie because Amber lies consistently and somehow she doesn't think it's a lie, but it is a lie. I'm not even one of these people that thinks that you would just lie because you didn't tell the truth, but sometimes um, that is the case and other times it's not. So like usually if somebody's lying, you need intent to lie. So if I told you, for instance, I was going to do something and I had full intention of doing that thing, but when I was going to do that thing, something happened and I could no longer do that. I didn't lie. Something happened, changed the circumstances, and now I can no longer do that. It's not a lie. It's just things I cannot do anymore. So for somebody like Amber, she does lie 100%. She has intentions of doing something or she has the intentions of not doing something and she just blatantly tells you that she does or doesn't. And that's a lie. That's something that's very inaccurate. So it's important to call Amber out on this shit. Also, um, she's lied many times about her new girlfriend. 
and uh, her previous girlfriends and all this other stuff. So Amber is just a chronic liar, and she can never think that she's in the wrong, and she consistently get, gets bitch slapped online too. It's crazy how many times like people have verbally assaulted her, and she has nothing to say in return. It's really crazy. Like I could not let myself get disrespected like that. But anyway. Um, that's the end of the video, guys. You're really beautiful today, by the way. I like your eyebrows, your lashes, your lashes done. They look good. Mm -hmm. And by the way, if you're a dude, your feet are looking quite scrubbed up. Very nice. The bunions are almost completely gone. I love the athlete's foot has dissipated completely. That's amazing. And don't get me wrong. Of course, women also have athlete's foot. That's also amazing that your athlete's foot has completely disappeared. That's amazing. Beautiful, spectacular, amazing. All that stuff is really, really great. Thank you for enjoying your foot food as well that was really really great the way you cooked that today it was really really delightful and i love the way you put stuff in it thank you anyway guys we're gonna end the video here if you want to check out my socials down below they'll be listed in the description enjoy the rest of your day guys peace